Hey guys, my name is Gingerbrowface, and welcome to a build log. This is a computer I'm building for a friend, specifically Vincent. Um, he wanted a reasonably cheap build, so I am building one now. We have... Uh, let me get a torch. Uh, focus. 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 Okay, it doesn't look like it wants to focus, but it's an i7-920. Um, the RAM is not the one that's staying in there, that's a stick of mine. Uh, until the rat, the actual RAM that we're using turns up. Enormous um, heatsink on the motherboard. The motherboard isn't, is taken from an Alienware computer. The little alien symbol you can see there. Um, so yeah, that's the motherboard. Uh, we're just running off four gig of RAM for the purposes of testing this. I've um, we're recycling the power supply and the hard drive from the old rig, which I have behind me. Uh, I can't see that at the moment, but I'm going to uh, bung the uh, the cooler on. Uh, we're going to run it out here like this to begin with for the purposes of overclocking. So I want to be able to get to reset the CMOS talking to which it has occurred to me my board is upside down so I'll be back in a minute the cooler we are using is one of these it is a, a cooler master hyper tx3 it's a pretty try and tested cooler and the box looks like this uh, it's a reasonably inexpensive one, but hopefully it will allow us to do some overclocking. Sometimes people ask me, what is your favourite method of applying thermal paste to the processor? And I've got to be honest, no one's ever actually asked me that. But nevertheless, I'm going to show you. The way I like to do it is put a small... They're coming out. A small out. My left hand stronger, so let's try that one. Hang on a sec. Yeah, put a bit more than that. Yeah. Okay, but put a bit on. This is the uh, is the point I'm making, and then take this a USA nylon 38 millimeter pick and spread it, spread it around a bit. I like to cover the whole CPU because that way makes it got the best uh, best possible contact between the processor and the heatsink which is what you want better cooling so uh, I'm going to cover the whole thing because it's hard to do when I'm holding the camera having attached the cooler in a this is a sucky fan so the air is going to be going through that way um uh yeah well it, it that's what it looks like uh, I've turned the the motherboard back around uh, this the there are two static pressure fans at the front of the case which will be pulling air in in this direction it'll then be going through this uh, towards the exhaust fan at the back um, we also have two more air intakes on this well it will kind of be on the top so um so you have very much positive air air pressure with four four intakes on one exhaust um, so this should have plenty of coin. You can attach the hand by another fan and attach it to the other side to have a push-pull configuration if if you wish. That's a reasonably cheap upgrade. Don't know how much it helps. I'd imagine it'd be a noticeable amount. Um, I've put the RAM back on. Uh, like I said, this RAM's not staying. But now it's time to attach the graphics card. Hey guys, sorry I'm about the audio quality on this clip, but I... My computer is rendering an awesome odds video right now, and I don't want to kill it. 
but here is a progress report. I've put the computer together and the overclocking is going reasonably well. Can you see that at all? The screen's really small, I can't tell. Yeah. Come on, focus. 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 It says 2,912. That's what we're at. We're at 2 points, um, 1.272 volts, not 2 volts. <laughs> if your overclock is taking you to 2 volts, I'd just leave the house, run. It, it's all going to explode. Um, the temperature is still... It's, uh, it's around 80, so uh, we've still got a bit more headroom. Might be able to get it up to 3.5, which is about where I'm hoping to get it. But so far, I'm not even need to increase the voltage, so I, I think we should be okay for a bit. Got the processor up to 3 gigahertz, so decide to start running Valley. Um, I don't know if you can see. No, you can't at all. But we're currently running at between 35 and 40 FPS. On this screen, this is my computer running it for comparison. As you can see, they're both going, they're both going pretty well. Mine's at around 50, so I've got about 10 FPS. 10 FPS more, which is all right considering my graphics card's twice the price. That's you know that's that's fair enough, I think. So I'll let you know what the result is. So Valley came in at 40.4 um, FPS. You can see the the settings there. That one actually shows up. It's big enough. Um, I run, it's ran, that's at 1080p and four times anti-aliasing, which I think is pretty standard at, at 1080p. Um, Vince actually has a smaller monitor than this, so he'll have an even better frame rate. Um, but I had to set up my mic recording on, on my one, but uh, it came in at 49.7 for comparison. Same settings, but mine's a GTX 760, and this is a, it just says Radeon HD. 7,800, but it is, um, what is it? It is a 7,850. Uh, clock speeds are pretty much the same. I might try overclocking the graphics card. I might not be able to BIOS overclock it, though, because I might run out of time. But I might just, I might set up um, EVGA Precision or something as like a software overclock, which you can use if he needs it. Um, I'll, I'll try them. I'll overclock it if I if I can, but I might run out of time. Uh, final after a graphics overclock, we got forty four point one after rerunning Valley. So we gain we gain a little bit of performance. Um, the overclock was is two hundred megahertz. Could possibly go a little bit higher. Uh, the thermals are fine, but. I think any higher I'll have to turn up the power and then the thermals probably won't be fine. So we'll leave it there. Um, that was with the process running at 3 gigahertz. I'm now going to uh, try and try and get a little bit more at the processor. Though I'm not expecting too much. 